Hey guys, Reese here, and I want to bring you guys a tutorial on how to make a simple YouTube background. Um, I don't see that me. I'm going to be finishing this in uh, in this first video. I'm probably going to do a part two, so just going to keep it up, an eye out for that. So what I want to do is I want to open up Photoshop, and I'm going to open up a a standard partner template. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in uh, in the description. And if it sounds like I'm really breathing heavily or something like that, it's not because I'm um, I don't know. It's because I'm sick and my allergies bother me. So, just kind of want to let you guys know that. So, this is your standard YouTube background. Um, this is going to be for the people that already f somewhat like they know what Photoshop is and they know how to use it. So, this is just going to be for those guys. If you guys have no idea how to do this and you guys just got Photoshop, let me know and I can do a more simple uh, tutorial. But I don't want to waste time doing that. I just finished recording one. Found out that I, I spent ten minutes before I even started making the background. So that was kind of crazy. So. We're redoing right now, so I'm just gonna delete the mission on the network. Don't need that. I'm gonna delete the vignette, uh, and I got this. I forget who I got this from, but I'm gonna bring the background all the way to black, and I've got a, a what is it? And I'm just gonna bring a standard uh, texture to the back. I don't know which one I should choose. I want something that's kind of stylish. There's one with a different box. There we go. I don't actually. That one's not big enough. Crap. I'll just do the one I did in the last video. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? <laughs> I don't really care for it too much, but I don't know. It's it's a good background, I guess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this on the background. I'm going to go up here, black and not photo filter. I want to go to black and white. And doing the black and white thing, if you do auto, it's better than just doing uh, the standard desaturate because it kind of brings out the different um, the brightnesses and contrast. So I would I always recommend doing that. And if I do this, let's turn that off for a bit. Go over here, gradient tools, and make a gradient so that way I can uh, create a clipping mask possibly. That was way too big. Oh my gosh. Gradient. Try it again. Still a little bit big for my my liking, but that's good enough, I guess. I want to do overlay. No, I don't want to do overlay. I want to do multiply, maybe. Multiply looks good. Overlay. And actually, that turned out quite well. So I want to save this. Um, crap, don't want to do that. I want to save as. And I'm just going to bring it to the dust. Rezu. And I'm going to make this similar to the one I did before. So I'm going to bring that down. Bring that down. I'm going to make a new group. And name it Banner. And you want to do this underneath the sections because you don't want to have anything on top of the sections. Not that it matters when you upload it to YouTube, but it kind of makes it easier to work with. So I'm going to go into uh, graphics. I've got a file already made for my logo that I have. And let's see if I bring this down here. Do that. And I do remember I had some sort of thing over right here. You don't have to do this. This is just because I messed up on my logo. There's something right there. Like when I did a uh, a stroke, you guys can see that there's something sticking out there. So I'm just kind of being careful for that. I'm going to clear this layer style because I don't want green on this. It's going to look terrible. I'm going to kind of make this kind of small. Kind of that looks nice. And what I want to do for the layer style is that first of all, let's just name this Rizu logo. Make sure that it's underneath our banner group so that we stay organized. It's the number one thing that I can tell you guys is you want to stay organized. Um, the minute you stop staying organized, things get jumbled. You end up wasting your time and everyone else's time trying to find your layers. And it's just bad news for everybody. So I'm going to kind of, uh, let's see, I want to put a gradient on this. That looks nice right there. Maybe I do an inner glow. I always like doing the inner glow. It kind of adds a little bit to the background. That looks nice right there, actually. Sweet. Do 
turned a lot better than I thought it would. Turned a lot better than last time, actually. And the next I want to do is I want to add a subtext. I'm going to do um, maybe graphic design. Only because I think that professional graphic design won't fit in the size that I want it. It might. Professional graphic. No, it won't. Okay. So we got that. And I think I already have a layer style. No, that's not what I want. So hold on, let me just clear that so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just going to add, um, here, heck, I'll just copy my last layer style, paste it, so that way I got the same outer glow and stuff. And then for the gradient, I actually want to go, I don't want it to be, I want it to be 100% normal, and I want it to be blue. So I'm kind of going to bring a dark blue for the bottom, and for the top, I'm going to make a lighter blue. And here my, my stupid inner glow is messing everything up. So maybe size one. Bring the screen down a bit. And that looks nice right there. Save it. Kind of bring it up. And that looks good. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to add a bar across. This bar will be for the links. I do that and it's white, so just inverse the layer because I want it to be black. And for this bar, there's not much you want to do with the bar. Um, at least for the way I do it, I don't want to do a lot to it because I don't want the, the emphasis to be on the bar. I want it to be on the background. So I'm going to add a black outer glow just to kind of have it blend in and not be such a harsh edge inner glow. I'm going to do a small, what am I doing, small white one, <laughs> nothing really big, I just want it to be kind of like that, and then gradient, I want it to be a, a, a very light gradient, like that, and if we keep it like that, save it, I want to duplicate the layer, and then for the layer, um, underneath that duplicated one, just clear the layer style, so that way it's not doubled. Um, because if you saw that it's kind of harsher that time you don't want to have that uh, merge those two layers together so that way there's no effects anymore it's just the already edited regular rasterized layer and then I just want to erase that end and then maybe erase all that and that looks pretty good right there you know depending on Whatever you feel best, you can uh, lower the opacity, do like that. And then next, you want to add the text. Do you guys hear that? You want to add. <laughs> I've been playing with Gear L and uh, Gear Mez a lot, and they've. I don't want to. I don't want to seem like a freak or anything, but I'm pretty sure their accents rubbing off on me. So I'm gonna do designed by. Actually, since this is my own background, I don't need that. So I'm gonna do portfolio. And now we're going to go back and do all the different layer styles in a bit. So portfolio. And up next is uh, going to be portfolio. Oh, crap. Hold on. So portfolio again. And check out my, there we go. Then portfolio, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Check out my portfolio. Kind of center that over the top of it. Duplicate layers. Bring it over, and then just change the text for whatever you need it. Twitter. And just the the main thing that I always like is if you hold shift, it makes it so that way it doesn't go up or down, it just goes side to side, or just up and down, so it doesn't go all the other place at once. 
And one thing I've noticed on my computer is if you double tap something like really fast, it doesn't really register that well. So you need to be careful that you don't misspell any words because that's the one thing that'll really throw off your channel is if you make a really badass background and it's spelt wrong. It doesn't look good for you when you have professionally designed by on there. Professionally designed by a high school student that doesn't know how to spell is what you will get. So um, let's see what else do I got on there. And then uh, let's see main channel. Subscribe. What am I doing? Subscribe. Let's just do reason two. Two. And then, uh, heck, let's see. Do I still have the Yosh logo? Yeah, I do. Okay, here we go. Sweet. So if I bring that in... I don't know how I want to do this. It looks, I saw it kind of it looked kind of neat just like having it there, but I don't want it to sound out too much. So what I'm going to do is... You guys going to see me do some... Oop, not yet. Not yet. Razor, you're getting ahead of yourself. So forgive me, my computer gets really weird when it gets all... I'll pixelate like this. I'm just going to go ahead and make a normal, what's it called, a mask of this. So I'm just going to use my pen tool, kind of go around, and when I'm doing the straight up and down ones, I want to hold shift. So I'm going to fill that path. Delete path. Add one more for this. And you just want to make sure that you get them right. The last thing you want is a really awkward shaped Yosh logo. And since it's going to be really small, it doesn't have to be perfect. Complete path, merge those two together, get rid of the Yosh thing, and then you go. And you got the nice Yosh emblem. Actually, if you kind of look at it, it looks like a Dropbox. It, look, it does look just like a cube, huh? Weird. Just probably clarify that. Okay. Let's do a text. Gosh. And then I don't want the Yosh to be italicized. And if you ask me that Yosh is just kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. I do have the the Yosh thing later, but I'll do that on part two. What time are we at? We're at 14 minutes, so I want to wrap this up in a little bit. So I'm just going to keep the Yosh right there. Um, as for layer styles, we'll do that, and then we'll end up this video, and then we'll do a part two tomorrow. So first of all, the layer style, we're pretty much just going to do the exact same thing because we want to keep similarity. So we're going to go to the same 
layer that we use in graphic style, we're going to do that. And just click all the ones that we did for top. So check my follow, like, subscribe. We're going to paste style. And actually, if you look at it, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I can. The inner glow is overpowering the, the blue. And I don't want that. So I'm going to bring the opacity down on that a bit. And copy, same thing again, paste. And that looks a lot nicer. And uh, maybe if I do it on that, paste. I do it on the Yosh. And then for the other ones, I'm going to try and see if that'll look nice on them. And it does. Sweet. Um, the one thing I want to make sure that it's the hold on, it it doesn't look like it. Oh, I just want the outer glow to go over the blue text. And does it? No, it doesn't. All right, so yeah, looks pretty nice. I like it. And I uh, just go ahead and do that to the uh, show notes already done. Okay, so cool. So that's uh, kind of like the basics of it so far. Um, tomorrow. I will do more of uh, I'm, I want to I want to fix up the background because the background looks kind of doesn't look the best. I want to add some more to that. Maybe add some flares and uh, finish doing the, the banner part. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want to see more tutorials in the future, or if you guys like this, I want to make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know how you like this. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Also, I'll have this file as well as uh, all the different files that I used in this video in the description so keep an eye out for that if you guys want to go along and do this with me I am using Photoshop CS4 uh, I don't have a CS5 it doesn't really matter as long as you got Photoshop it'll work anyways guys thank you guys for watching this video I want you guys to have a wonderful day and above all stay classy